Central Missouri softball started its season about a month ago, but the first MIAA and home games at South Rec weren't until the weekend of March 7th and 8th. Jenny swept Fort Hayes State with two run rule games on Saturday, taking the first one 9-0 and the second game 9-1. Everything was clicking. Honestly, that was probably by far the best two games that we have played in a long, long time on all aspects. I mean, everything was working on all cylinders. Another doubleheader on Sunday, different team as UCM hosts Nebraska Kearney. Tight score in game one, but the Gins get the win 6-5 over the Lopers. Now let's see some highlights from game two. Carney scores in the top of the first, bottom of the second when we see an answer from UCM. Runners on second and third, Carly Rose connects, sends a grounder into right field. Austin Eichelberry crosses home plate. Two out RBI for Rose, we're tied 1-1. Hits continuing in the third inning. Allie Jo Rogers gets on and steals her way to third base. Lindsey Dawson brings her home with a shot up the middle. UCM takes the lead 2-1. Two batters later, two on base for Lauren Mabe. Hit takes a hop over the pitcher, goes into the outfield. Dawson scores from second. Jenny's up 3-1. Let's move to the bottom of the fourth. New pitcher for Carney. Two outs, two on for Rogers. She pops one into shallow outfield. Amanda Nally and Rose come home to score. Two RBIs for Rogers on that hit. It's 5-1 UCM. Very next batter is Dawson. Bad throw from the third baseman to first. That brings Rogers in for an unearned run. Jenny's hold on to that lead for the rest of the game. Central Missouri tops Nebraska Kearney in game two of the doubleheader, 6-1. to one. It's a great opening weekend, especially at home, coming away 4-0, especially against the teams that we went up against with Fort Hayes and Nebraska Kearney. This is like one of the first times that we've played at home to open up the season in a long time. So we wanted to really come out and make a statement, and I'm really proud of our girls because I really felt like we did that. Shortstop Ali Jo Rogers goes two for three at the plate with two RBIs and two runs herself. Lindsey Dawson and Jackie Prater also batted two for three. Senior Katie Shockley gets the win on the mound with six strikeouts and two walks. With the win over the Lopers, the Jennies are 4-0 in MIAA games and off to their best start since 2011 when the team opened the conference play with five straight wins. I feel like we're just going to keep gaining momentum, and I think it's a great place to start. I'm loving it. I, like I said, the girls really came out. They were focused. They were energized. They, they were a lot of fun to watch. Like, we have a lot of great players, and if we can just keep, keep that momentum going, it's going to be a really fun year. Next up for UCM softball is a busy trip to Florida, where the Jennies are scheduled to play six in the PFX Spring Games event in Winter Garden and Claremont. The Jennies will wrap up that trip with a doubleheader against nationally ranked number 15 Rollins in Winter Park. Pretty much as soon as they get back to Warrensburg, the Jens will get back on the diamond, heading to Missouri Western for a regional crossover with teams from the Northern Sun. If weather doesn't mess everything up, that's 13 games in 11 days for UCM softball. Reporting at South Rec in Warrensburg, I'm Katie Smith for UCMAthletics.com.